in this video, I will show you how to use SureRank, a free, modern, and clutter-free search engine optimization plugin for WordPress. Now, before you think SEO is dead because of AI, let me tell you a little story that illustrates why we still need SEO in this age. So, I was on YouTube and this creator randomly popped up on my YouTube feed. And she explained that she was curious about a popular Canadian journalist named George Strombo. So she went on Google and she typed George Strombo married. And the AI said that yes, George Strombo is married to Dechen Wangdu, which is a film producer and Tibet activist. Now the thing is, it's completely false. What happened is, George Strombo tweeted this. As a surprise for his wife, Dechen Wangdu, he hired her favorite band. That's all he tweeted. But he's not married to Deshan Wangdu. Yet, according to AI, he is. Now, this is called AI hallucinations. Crazy, right? And actually, something similar happened to me on this very channel. So I was preparing a video and then I asked ChatGPT some statistics about video usage on the internet. Now, it gave me a figure, but you know, because I've been doing this long before AI was even a thing, I have this habit to always check my sources. So I was checking the source and I couldn't find the source. So I asked ChatGPT, where does that number come from? And then ChatGPT basically told me, oh, I made it up. I just thought you needed a number. Yeah. Now, just imagine the embarrassment if I had published that info. And it turns out it's completely wrong and doesn't even exist. It kind of remind me of the daughter of someone I know. We were in the middle of a dinner and she proclaimed aloud that elephants did not have ears because she heard it from someone on TikTok. Yeah, that kind of embarrassment. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Now back to AI hallucinations. And the problem with hallucinations is that even if they only come up once in a while, well, you can never really trust the info you're getting and that's the main problem. Now sure, some specific AI tools can give you accurate info, but first of all, some of these are very expensive and second, the large majority of people just go to good old Google engine and that's it, they don't care about the rest. And the issue I had was with ChatGPT, but the first example I showed you was on Google search engine. Now, don't get me wrong. I think AI is great as an assistant for very specific tasks, but once you've been burned by the AI hallucinations, that's when you realize that actually, some things should be left to humans. And that's where SEO comes in because with SEO, you can really broadcast real info that you've been researching and that people can trust. Now, a lot of SEO plugins for WordPress out there are bloated, cluttered, and just way too complicated. So today, let me show you how to set up SureRank, a free, modern, and clutter-free SEO plugin for WordPress. So to install SureRank in WordPress admin, you wanna go to plugins, add plugin. Then in the search field, you want to type SureRank, then click on install and activate. Next, click on let's get started and fill in the info. This website, we're going to choose organization. We have our website name and we can choose a logo. So I'm going to choose this one. Next, it already detected our about and contact pages. Otherwise, you can just click here and search for the page you want to connect. Then click on next. Now here you can paste your social accounts. So I've pasted a few links here, then click on next. And here you can enter your details to get notified about SEO issues on your website. So just select this option and click on finish. And there you go, we are ready to go. So next click on go to dashboard, which by the way, you can access by going to SureRank dashboard. So the first thing you see here is the site SEO analysis, but more about that in a moment. Then here you can extend your website with other plugins and you have quick access to the setup wizard we already saw as well as support options. So next we have the general tab and here it starts with the meta templates. So basically you tell SureRank what are the defaults for your posts and pages. So for the time being, we're gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so next we have our default social image. So here I'm gonna click on choose file and here you can either drag and drop the image, upload it, and as you can see, I already have all my images here. So I'm going to add this image, set as default image. And now if we take a look at the Facebook preview or the X formerly known as Twitter preview, this is what it would look like. Okay, next we have our homepage, as you can see here, but we'll edit it 
when we edit the home page in a moment. And here you can enable author archive pages and date archives, if you wish so, but I'm not gonna do it here. Next, we have the advanced tab. And here you can set the no index, no follow and no archive. And with this, basically you can tell search engines, hey, I don't wanna show these post types, taxonomies or archives. So this is no index, no follow, stop search engines from following links on selected content and no archive prevents search engines from showing cached versions of specific content in search results. Next, you have sitemap, which is super handy if you want to connect it to Google Analytics and the Google Search Console. And then we have schema. And think of schema as a way for search engines to categorize your content and display them accordingly in search results. And as you can see, you can set schema markup at global level or at content level. And it comes with already the most popular ones predefined. And here is an example in Google of some schema markup. So you can see here I typed Apple and you see this kind of rich snippet showing a very structured way of presenting the information. Okay, back in the SureRank admin, here we got the search console, we'll see that in a moment. And then we have some additional tools. So here you can enable or disable page level checks, Google search console, schema markup that we just talked about, and migration. If you want to migrate your SEO plugin data into SureRank smoothly. Next, we have import export. If you want to move your SureRank settings between two websites, and this is such a time saver, Next, we have Migrate to SureRank. So in case this was an existing website where you already have a SEO plugin and you just want to migrate the data, then you will find the option here. But in this example, there is no other SEO plugin, so we don't see the option here. Next, we have Miscellaneous. And here you can decide to contribute to SureRank. It's going to collect non-sensitive information for your website. Basically, it's gonna help developer fix bugs faster and also develop features that matter to you. Okay, let's go back to Search Console. And if you want to connect to Google Analytics and you really want to know what's going on with your website, as you're going to see, it's super handy. So I'm just going to click on Connect to Search Console. And yes, it's free. Then choose your account. Click Continue. Click Continue again. Basically, just follow the prompts on screen. And that's about it. Click Connect Site. And there you go. Property created successfully. And now this is our dashboard, of course. Nothing is showing up because we just connected the website. It might take a few days for data to show up, so I cannot show it here. But once you have the data, you see your site search traffic, you see a content analysis, as well as the clicks and impressions. So super handy and you can get everything right here from the dashboard for free. Now, let's look here and you can see we have three issues detected. So I'm gonna click here. And this is our site SEO analysis, which by the way, you can find also here, a smaller version here in the dashboard. But let's go back to the full view. So here we see the critical ones. These are the ones you should treat first. Then you see the warnings, suggestions, and those that are already okay. So as you can see, we have three critical ones. Homepage is not indexable by search engines. Site does not correctly redirect between www and non www versions. And search engine visibility is blocked in WordPress settings. But this is super easy to fix. Now, before I show you how to fix it, if you check here, you see fix it for me. Now, this is a feature for the pro version of SureRank, which is not yet available except in the beta program. But I'm going to show you how to fix it manually. So let's go to settings, reading. And here, I'm just going to toggle this option off and hit save changes. Basically, it was discouraging search engines from indexing this website. So let me hit save changes and there you go. Now let's go back to SureRank, dashboard, and I'm going to rerun checks. And as you can see, we only have one critical left. So it does not correctly redirect between www and non www versions. Now this is something you would deal with with your hosting company. Most of the time you can do it yourself from your web hosting dashboard, but in this case, I'm using ZipWP. So this is a demo website, I don't really care about that. So for the time being, I'm just gonna click on ignore and ignore one more time. Next, we see three warnings, multiple H1 headings on the homepage, images on the homepage do not have all text attributes, and the site tagline is not set in WordPress settings. So once again, let's address that. So the first one is go to settings, general, and let's add a tagline, websites that convert. 
Let's scroll down and hit save changes. And there you go. Now I'm going to hover over the name of the website, right click, and I'm going to open it in a new tab. And in this tab, I'm going to go back to share rank dashboard. It'll make it easier as you'll see in a moment. So I'm just going to navigate to the other tab. So here I'm on the home page and I'm going to click on edit page. Now for this demo, I'm using the Spectra page builder, but if you're using the Elementor page builder, it's pretty similar. Actually, let me show you. So this is the Elementor version. And as you may know, we don't see the builder here. You need to click on edit with Elementor. But from the get go right here, you see the share rank logo. So everything we're going to do, you can do it from here. Get your optimize and analyze tabs and you can do it from here. Or if you wish, you can click on edit with Elementor. And right here, as you can see, once again, we find the share rank logo and same thing. You can do everything from here. So back in the Spectra Builder, I'm going to click on the share rank logo. And first I'm going to type my keyword or keyword phrase. So websites that convert. And then here below, I see my meta tab. And here I can see a preview of what it would look like in a search engine. So for this one, I'm going to change it a little bit because this is our home page. So we set it as home. So I can just click here to remove the post title. And I'm just going to use the same keyword phrase, websites that convert. And as you can see in the preview, it's reflected. Next, for the search engine description, you can keep the post content or you can just remove it and type your own. Next, you get your advanced tab. And once again, here you can set your no index, no follow or no archive, which we saw previously and your schema markup. Next, you have your social tab and here you can change the social image. So for example, let me pick this one here, click use this image and the rest, I'm going to keep it as it is. And here you see the Facebook preview and here is the X preview. Next, let's go to the analyze tab. And here you can see some of the issues like one or more broken links found on the page or the images that are missing all text attributes. And if you recall, we saw that in the SEO report. So for example, here, I'm just going to click on this image. So it's going to open the image and here I'm going to add the alt image text, then click it on another field so that it's saved. And basically you want to do the same thing for the other images. As well as, for example, here, you want to make sure the links work. Now, two more things I want to show you. First of all, here in the optimize tab, meta, you can add variables. Actually, you can add variables almost everywhere, but I'm just going to show you here. So we got website that convert. We change that. Then we got the site name and that's how it looks like. And then I'm just going to add a dash and then I'm going to add the ampersand sign and start typing current. So you get all these variables and I'm going to add current year, which is great for SEO. And as you can see, the year is reflected here. And the next thing I want to show you is that once you've done all the optimization, you can move to analyze and we already saw what we need to do with the page checks, but now we can close this tab and you see we have keyword checks. So here is going to tell you what to do. And here it says focus keyword website that convert not found in URL. That's super easy. If you want to fix this, what you would do is first of all, get out of here. So I'm going to go back to WordPress. So this is my page. Click on quick edit. My keyword phrase is websites that convert. So now if I hit update and click on quick edit again, you see this is our slug. So this is what will appear in our URL. Now, the thing is, because it is the home page, it's going to cut this. So let me quickly change this. So let's go to settings, rating, and for the home page, I'm going to leave as select. So that page is no longer our official home page for WordPress. And if we go back to editing our page, then let's go to share rank, analyze and open keyword checks. And as you can see, everything is now green. Once again, super easy to do. And let me close this. And then don't forget, we also add this alert, multiple H1 headings found on the homepage. So let's address this. So first of all, you need to check all of your content. So here I'm going to open the content tab and by clicking, I can see what is using H1. So for example, this one's using H1. Then I'm going to scroll down, do the same, double check until I found the culprit and actually know where it is. So if I click here, as you can see, it's also an H1. 
and for search engine optimization should have only one per page so i'm going to change this into an h2 i'm going to hit save now in the meantime i also add the alt text to all images and now let me navigate back to the other tab and i'm just going to hit rerun checks and there you go everything is green and by the way i showed you how it works for a page but the same is true for a blog post if i go to posts then let me open this one as you can see we see our share rank logo here and the options are the same so as you can see share rank is super easy to set up with this modern intuitive and clutter-free interface so don't waste time and help your potential visitors find your website with SureRank. now if you want to know how to create a website i was using for this demo we actually created a free course for the elementor builder as well as a free course for the spectra builder and of course both are linked in the description below you're welcome